Welcome back to the channel. This is me, Handy Andy, doing another tool review. So, what we got here is a Silverline 18 volt circular 150 millimeter cordless saw. Not don't know much about them. Just picked them up. I've been selling these on eBay because they were selling them quite cheaply, so I was making a little bit of profit. Decided to keep one for myself just to see what it was like. I figured that getting cordless tools now is probably the way forward but um, these are reasonably priced they're not not at the top end of the the brands uh, silver line but I've, I've seen for example that's is it Craig Phillips there has a YouTube channel and he uses the silver line tools in his channel and obviously they must sponsor him and everything but um, yeah anyway this is like I say 18 volt cir circular saw the box contains the 18 volt circular saw which is this guide fence which is not featured on there but it will be on here somewhere is there a picture of it? no anyway, there's a guide fence I think it would be on the other side of that there's an allen key, a blade, a dust connector one 4 AH battery and one 2 hour fast charger and instruction manuals so it's got 150 by 16 millimeter so the 16 millimeter is the diameter of the hole that it fits in so when you buy a replacement blade you need to find one that either has a 16 millimeter hole or it has the adapters to adapt it to fit it to your saw uh, and it's a 24 teeth saw so that's basically rough cut so let's look in the box there we go saws inside the box there's the instructions comes with a three year guarantee nothing special there really um, it's a good idea to register your guarantee if you're intending to use your saw because obviously this three year guarantee will cover it for for what what you're using it for obviously if it breaks down then you've got it covered so there's your instructions here's the saw has to be said it's not very well packed is it it's just in the box as it is there's a little bit of a slot there for a blade to go in so there's the saw cardboard box and there's the guide rail so we'll pull that down battery the charger and the allen key now it did say there was a dust collector with this and there isn't one so I'm assuming is it attached oh there it is it's attached to the saw ah there you go so let's remove the bag so the depth is adjustable has screw on the side and you can adjust the depth there there's a little mark there telling you how deep it cuts goes down to 46 millimeters and there's your zero so that's where the blade is there obviously the more you go up the deeper the cut will be and you can just lock it off there and handy um, little thumb screw that I've seen these before on saws and at least you don't need to use an allen key to do it you have also angles for doing angles so now as to be said it is moving quite smoothly on, on, on the pivots and everything so that's quite a good good sign it shows it's got quite a good build quality to it and again you get a little thumb thumb screw there just to tighten it up and lock it off this is for the saw guide and that just slots in now normally these are quite quite um, flimsy this one seems to be a lot thicker than the other ones I've seen on saws 
it does feel a little bit more sturdier than what I've come across before. Normally they just like a cheap piece of metal on it. So once you've unscrewed it, it should just slot in. I've just unscrewed that by accident. So the thumb screw on this is spring loaded. So obviously it can be adjusted then. So that can go on either side of the saw. So there you see. There it's got little a little slot so you can bring it in a lot further. You watch this now it'll bring it in. There we go. So it, it covers the foot plate a little bit further. There's a little slot there. I've never seen that on a saw before, but there you go. I have a button here to lock the blade off. So as you press this button here. You can see my finger there, just press the button and the blade will lock so it's, it's locked into place just so you can remove it with the Allen key provided and if you need to change the blade that's what you use the Allen key for. So I'm assuming that the battery just fits in there. It's not a just, oh there you go I've just accidentally. So you've got a spring loaded locking pin there so obviously you can't activate the saw until you push this along so obviously that's designed to keep your hand safe you can't activate the saw pulling the trigger unless you push that in there you see so you can either use your thumb or your finger depends on what you want to do which you prefer there yeah you can't lock the trigger off either just by that all it does is it locks the trigger to stop you activating the saw now i've not charged this battery up so what i'm going to do now is cut a piece of wood so this in theory should be a bit yeah it should cut through this so this is a, a nice thick piece of wood to test it on um again you've got that which again you just use your finger to pull the guide out of the way if you need to and obviously you can cut them if you need to do that it is quite i would say it's heavy it's got nice little grips on it though for using two-handed operation so i've readjusted the camera angle and what we're going to do now is cut this piece of what we'd call plain three by two so the depth of the saw i don't know if we can see this so that's it, its maximum which is 48 millimeters and we're going to cut this now just to see how well the saw performs so go let's cut through there quite easily and there there's the off cut it's not done too badly it did feel quite quite strong as it was doing it it didn't lag being a battery battery operated tool the first time I bought a battery operated saw um, zoom out a bit um, it literally did a couple of cuts and then it was absolutely useless it didn't really perform quite well um this again is a budget range battery operated saw but the way that's just cut through there it's cut through there like butter and um it does feel quite powerful as it did it we'll do it again now and again yeah it's cut yeah it's done quite a decent job of that i wouldn't say it's struggled at all with that so obviously being a cordless tool it uh, will need charging up every now and again downside is you just get one battery so you probably have to purchase more batteries from Silverline and um, you do get the charger obviously to charge your batteries up so uh, what I'll do is I'll put this on charge now because that was just out of the box testing uh, it wasn't anything else what we'll do is get this on charge now 
and then we can probably use it on a few jobs and see how it goes so we'll update this video again soon Just let me... so yeah we'll update this video again soon once you start using the saw a little bit more I'll take it on a few jobs um, to make sure that we get a good test of it I was a bit surprised the dust extraction was already fitted in there usually they don't do that and there you go um, so like I said we'll get this charged up now and hope oh, I've just noticed it here it does have a power display there you can see it's down to the third light and it's on amber so it's obviously ready for a recharge so like I said we'll get this plugged in now so guys that is the silver line cordless 18 volt 150 millimeter so it's a nice little saw it's like I said I've used that on less than a full charge and it did the job I would advise buying more batteries if you can or buying more tools that have batteries because quite often the batteries can, can always often be more expensive than the tools um, but if you are on a budget if you're just starting out or if you're just in the market for a, a spare saw then I would probably recommend buying something like this if you are on a budget um, they're relatively inexpensive I would say probably about 70 to 80 pounds for something like that you could pay round about 200 pounds here in the UK for say something like a Dewalt or Makita or maybe even a face tool obviously if you're wanting better quality tools then it is a good idea to buy better quality brands however I do feel it, they could do with bringing the cost down a little bit um, I do think some of them are overrated for what they are and like I've just said you know if you are on a budget you could replace this every you know three five years and you still wouldn't get to the price of the face tool or some of the major leading brands so yeah you just got to be practical with tools I think and obviously get get where you need to be if you are then again you might just be a DIYer perfect for DIYing but I mean it's it can be stored away quite quite easily uh, probably advise getting a toolbox or something to put it in because obviously you've got quite a bit of stuff to to um, pack away there charger battery and uh, somewhere to put the allen key some will have a place for the allen key this doesn't look like it's got a place to put the allen key uh, but there you go so anyway that's you know for me prattling on about tools i could probably talk about tools all day long but uh, i hope you got something out of this video i hope you found it informative and um if you did find it informative don't forget to like this the, the the like button and maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already so once again thanks for watching i'll catch you in another video soon